So, currently at Hoarderman's, I gotta clear out all this brush so we can have like bonfires up here. Gotta get a fire permit, which is gonna be a bitch. And then just cut straight down that way. That way, uh, yeah, we can reclaim some old trails. Okay, so as usual, we were stuck with nothing but a cleaver and a machete. But as you can see, uh, we've chopped down so fucking many trees. Well, that's a lot more than just this pile. It's like all over here has been cleared for the most part. I mean, shoot, you can see the uh, barn in the house a bit better. And then, uh, yeah, just gonna keep cutting that way. Clear out all this. So that way we can have a nice burn pile going. So, uh, I just got back. It's the next week. We cut as much as we could. But, uh, my crewmate had to, uh, leave by about... 9.30 latest that night. Now I had to get my AC unit installed and need some help. Mainly just someone watching me to make sure I don't fuck up and uh, drop the AC unit out the window. But yeah. Uh, Hoarder man went out. Got a charger for the battery for his chainsaw that he got. And doesn't this look a lot better? Uh, well, I mean, certainly compared to when we started. Uh, the bulk of it, uh, you can kind of see with, like, these stumps here. Uh, the bulk of it, when me and my crewmate were here, we had to use a machete and cleaver. Uh, but the chainsaw allowed me to get the, uh, bigger stuff. Like, uh, here's something. Here's an example, right? So here you can see that, you know, we chopped it with the machete and cleaver. Thanks to the chainsaw, I was able to get like a clean cut there. Clean cuts here. And just take care of like the uh, bigger trees. Uh, now of course, you know, obviously I gotta get all this chopped up. Uh, gotta get a fire permit too. So that way we can uh, burn it all. But yeah, you know, I, I'd say I'd say it's pretty good. I'd say it's pretty, pretty good. So to kind of finish off, uh, this is another reason why I really, uh, just kind of need a giant crew to come up. Uh, because I've had a giant crew here once. And they kind of quit on me. I mean, they were college friends. Finicky. You know how it be. But so this shit, this is the knotwood. And all this sprouted up, well, began to sprout up again. Like, fucking, in the last week or so, well, yeah, these are like all buds, they weren't even this tall, this shit will just shoot the fuck up so fucking quickly, and yeah, this is like another main reason just cause, you know, it's all gotta be uprooted, and, uh, some of it transplanted along the property line for privacy, Although, luckily, this is a pretty private place. Uh, you can see more of it out there. But, uh, this shit's nearly impossible to get rid of. Uh, you really have to just fucking uproot it every single time. Uh, there's supposedly a way that involves covering everything with trash bags, but... I think I found signs that that was attempted here, and it just doesn't work. Ugh. I like the little trike car. Uh, but yeah. This, this shit. This shit's the fucking devil. This shit's the devil. It makes for great kindling. Like, look at all this fucking kindling we got, right? But god damn, it fucking pops up everywhere. <laughs>